In this video, I'm out in Lando Lakes, Florida, and I'm gonna take you on a tour of three pool homes that have had recent price reductions, one $351,000 off. So if you like home tours, stick around. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Josh Bryan, and I'm your Tampa Bay area real estate expert. So if you're thinking about making a move, reach out. I would love to help you. My contact information is in the description below, but enough talking, let's start today's tour. All right, this one is in Dupree Lakes. It is a three bedroom, two bath, 1840 square feet, built in 2006. Does have a pool, originally listed at $445,000 and it has been reduced down to $434,000. There is an annual HOA fee of $110 and a CDD fee of $19.95 per year. And the 2022 tax bill was $37.61. So we pen around the neighborhood, show you what it looks like over here. Then we will go inside and take a look. All right. So make sure to let me know what you think about this one in the comments below. When you walk in the front door, you have brand new LVP. To the left here would be, um, it could be whatever you want it to be. It could be a living room, it could be a dining room. You could frame this out and make it into you know, an office or even uh, frame it out and add a closet and make up another bedroom. Continuing on into your kitchen here, you have your brown cabinets, your granite countertops. Your undermount sink, stainless steel appliances. They are electric here. And then your pantry is going to be right here. All right, so let's go down this way first. You're going to have your laundry room right here. And then over here is going to be your air handler and then some storage. And then out to your two-car garage there is a laundry sink over in the corner there all right it's coming out of the laundry room and turning right you're gonna have bedroom number one right here and then coming directly out of that Bathroom number one, you have your dual vanity and then your toilet over here and your tub and shower combo there. And then at the end of the hall here is going to be a linen closet and then a bedroom number two. All right. Continuing on. Technically, this is where they have the dining area in this model. I'd probably, you know, you could do it there or I'd probably do it up front, but it just depends on how you want to do it. All right, over here, another linen closet. And then into the master suite. Nice size bedroom. Over here, you're gonna have your walk-in closet. And then the bathroom over here. So you have your dual vanity. And then your jetted tub with a view of the pool and pond behind you. And then your shower here. And then the toilet there. Right. Coming on out of the master into your living room. And you have your triple sliders here. It leads out to the pool deck. Have your paver pool deck. Just need some love. Little weeds going. Nice pool here. You have an outdoor shower in the corner over here. And then a view of the pond right here. 
and this yard is fenced in. So I'll show you over here. You got your fence there with a gate. And go to the other side over here. And there's a gate on that end as well. So that's going to do it for this one. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. All right, below. this one is in the Enclave subdivision. It is a three bedroom, two bath, 1874 square feet, built in 2001. It does have a private pool. Originally listed at $520,000. It has been reduced down to $510,000. There is an annual HOA fee of $375, no CDD fee, and the 2022 tax bill was $4502. So let me pan around and show you what it looks like over here. It is in a cul-de-sac, not far from the outlet mall and all the restaurants. All right, let's go inside, take a look at this one. Make sure to let me know what you think about it in the comments below. When you come in the front door, you have brand new LVP. It is a little dark, uh, I'll show you that in a second. But when you come in right here to the left is gonna be your coat closet and shoe racks in there. And over to the right, you're gonna have two bedrooms and one bathroom. So bedroom number one, brand new carpet, a little different for the ceiling. That's a little different. And then you have your walk-in closet over here. Now, bathroom number one. And then bedroom number two. Definitely needs some drywall work as you can see. All right, coming into the family room slash living room. Nice tall ceilings, but the only light in here is on that ceiling fan. So it's a little dark. I would have some can lights installed or something. You can see there was, you know, wiring there and up there. So maybe uh, they decided to cap it for whatever reason. All right, let's go over. You know, eh, let's go this way. I'll show you the rest of the bedrooms. Then we'll come back. All right. So this is going to be the master suite here. Get your walk-in closet with the archways. Your dual vanity. And your tub and shower com tub combo. No shower. I'm so used to saying that. Wow, there's no shower head. That's odd. So showers right here. That's why. So you walk in a shower and then your tub. I mean your toilet, sorry. I'm losing it today. And then this door goes out to the pool, which we'll go out and see in a second. And bedroom number four. All right, so let's go back and cross over here. I'll go show you the laundry room and the garage. So laundry is going to be here. And this kitchen, a little small. There's not a true pantry. I'm guessing they're using this as the pantry, which... Not a fan of, but it is what it is, I guess. All right, your two car garage, there is a door that goes out to the side yard. I don't know, personally, I wouldn't pay 510 for this. Dining area here. Kitchen. Well, that's the breakfast look over there. And then this is your dining area here. 
And then you have your covered lanai out here. Ceiling fan, a couple can lights. There's three ceiling fans. Pool over there. Show you around over here real fast. This is just a walkway down on the inside of the fence. It's not completely fenced here, but that goes to the garage there. So you got a gate up front, but as you can see, there's no fence in the backyard. So if you wanted to fence it out, it would just be that backside uh, over here. And then you have your pool over here with your safety fence right there. And then I'll just go over here and show you the backyard. So you got a nice size backyard. And then if you wanted to come over here, you could you can see that it is fenced on the side over here. So you would just have to do just the back. You got your palm trees here. The pool deck looks pretty new. And then over here to your pool equipment and then your gate right there. So that's going to do it for this one. Let me know what you think about it in the right. comments. So below. this one is completely different. It sits on 3.21 acres. Uh, an acre and a half of that's in the water. So you got water rights. Um, definitely not in a flood zone. Well, part of the property is, but the actual structure is not in a flood zone. This is a five bedroom, three bath. 33 39 square feet it has a private pool built in 1984 originally listed at one million five hundred fifty thousand dollars it has been reduced three hundred fifty one thousand dollars down to one million one hundred and ninety nine thousand dollars no hoa fee no cdd fee the 2022 property tax bill was a 43.77 Obviously that would go up, but uh, let me just show you around here. So you have this nice long driveway at the end off the road. Let's go around and I'll show you over here first. This is on a, a ski lake, 124 acre ski lake. So you can have your, your jet skis, uh, boats, all that good stuff no restrictions over here so you got these nice tall trees you have a nice little dock over here you can do some fishing or you know whatever you want to do easily put in a kayak and then the pools back here i'll just come around here and show you this is a cool property. If I had a million plus, I would probably buy this one. But you got your palm trees mixed in with your oak, spruce probably. But I'm not a tree expert, so I don't know. But this is just nice. All right, let's go inside, take a look at the inside. Back over here, you got your one car garage underneath the, the covered front patio here, or front porch. All right, let's go inside and take a look at this. One. Come in, it's nice and wide open here. Let's go upstairs first. So there's three bedrooms upstairs and another like kitchenette you'll see in a minute. All right, so we come up, you have this nice big open vaulted ceiling but let's go to the right first so coming down the hall to the right it's going to be a bedroom number one all brand new carpet all right continuing on you have a linen closet here and then bedroom number two that looks out over the lake. And then in between those two bedrooms, you have bathroom number one.
right, let's continue on. So like I said, you got this nice big living room area here. You do have a wood burning fireplace. The balcony out there, we'll go out in a second. And then there's a second kitchen upstairs here. So you could use this as, you know, multi-generational living, or if you were just you know, having a party up here and you didn't feel like going downstairs to the main kitchen. Over here, there's an area for a second story laundry. And then just some more like pantry space over here. All right. And then here is the master suite, which will go out on the patio in a minute. So around the corner is going to be your closet. And then check out this bathroom. Come in, you got a little bit more closet space here. Nice big soaker tub, your dual vanities. And then your walk-in shower. And then the toilet over here with the pocket door. Right, let's go out, take a look at this second story balcony. All right, so you come out, nice covered lanai here. Let's show you how far this is. So definitely a lot of space to hang out here. And then you have out these doors here, you have your uh, side porch to go back down stairs. And if you want to access the pool and then there's some stairs over here you may have seen when I came out of the bedroom. And then that just goes down. Let's just go down here. We'll just spiral staircase come out to the pool so you have your um, turf here so this is just all fake fake turf with the pool the cover pool cage nice big pool and I really want to jump into this but I gotta go film some more houses um, but nice big yard you have a shed over in the the corner over here and then on the side over here, you have a little side um, fenced area here. So you could use like a dog run or, you know, whatever. All right, let's go back inside and take a look at the, uh, the downstairs. And I wasn't planning on coming this way, so it's going to be a little, little backwards on this, but. All right, so you come in from the pool area. Let's just work. Let's go back to the front door and I'll show you the downstairs from the front door. So we came in, we went right up the stairs, but if you come left, you have a little mudroom area here with your drop zone. You have a sink over here and then there's other laundry hookups there if you want to do laundry on the first floor as well behind those is the uh, water heater coming on in to your living room with the electric fireplace there and then here is the main kitchen Right. Let's go. Let's just go this way. So here's another. I mean, you can use this for whatever. Um, but it goes out into the one car garage. So you got the epoxy on the floor. Over here is where your uh, air handler is. And then your one car garage here, and some little storage area over here.
right, let's cut across over here. And then there's gonna be another bathroom here. Have your tub and shower combo there. Sink there, and then your toilet area here. It's continuing on. There's going to be two more bedrooms over here at the end of the hall. So, bedroom number four. And then it's got a nice size walk in closet. And then, bedroom number five with the walk in closet here. So that's gonna do it for this one. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Hope you enjoyed below. today's tour. If you did, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, leave a comment below. And if you're thinking about making a move, reach out. I would love to help you. My contact information is in the description below. But until next video, take care.